Hi, I'm Jarlay, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a timeless pick a card reading for a year from now, where will you be? Okay, so we've got three options, three different decks. I will be uh, allowing you to kind of look a close up on each of the decks for you to then pause the video, decide which, you're, which deck you're drawn to and pick which one that you feel will be relevant for you. As with all general readings, please obviously take what resonates and leave the rest. We've got three options today. So the first option is the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klinger and Sandra Ann Taylor. Second option, number two, is the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. And option number three is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Deck by John Holland also. Uh, so if you didn't see the announcement, um, we are going to be changing the uh, days of upload and also the frequency. We're going to be uploading now Thursday through to Tuesday inclusive. So it's six days a week as opposed to five. Um, and as I say, you, you'll be getting uploads over the weekend. So there'll be some content there for you. The only day we won't be uploading is Wednesdays. Um, uh, possibly at some point in the future, we may extend to, I say we, I'm talking about my guides. Um, we may do sort of seven days a week. Um, but for the moment, we're doing an extra day and then we're changing um, as opposed to sort of Saturday, Sunday, no uploads. We're changing the days there to just Wednesday, no upload. OK, so uh, next time you'll see the decks. Uh, and as I say, if you want some time to decide, pause the video to decide uh, as to sort of where you will be for the next year. And the next year, this time next year, where will you be? What will your life look like? So as I say, um, you can choose between three decks. OK, so this is deck number one, the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Anklinger and Sandra Ann Taylor. This is deck one. Deck two is the Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Deck number three is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland also. Again, if you need some extra moments, please do pause the video. Take your time to decide which of those three decks you are drawn to. As I say, this is number one, number two and number three. Hello, poll number one, deck one. You chose the Akashic Tarot deck by Sharon Ann Klinger and Sandra Ann Taylor. So a year from now, where will your life be? Let's have a look. I did do a pre-shuffle, but we're going to do another one just to make sure. So those who picked deck one, part one, this deck, the Akashic Tarot deck, please, Spirit. From the time they're watching this video, a year from that time or a year from now, what's going on in their lives, please, Spirit? What's happening in their lives? From those who picked this pile, a year from now, what's going on, please? from now let's have a look i feel like you might even a year from now um there's something around work here that you're i'm hearing looking to change um it's like you want to either upgrade your work situation but i feel like finances as well and i feel like you're you're looking at all your options here um yeah you're looking at all your options i don't think you're um it's definitely, I, I definitely don't see that there's um, a settled work environment. If there is, it might be that it's settled, but you're trying to upgrade it. You're trying to change it. Um, it's interesting because I'm seeing a wheel. It's like the wheel of fortune. It's like you're ready to take a jump. It could be that you're, you weren't sure about what you wanted to do. It could be that maybe you're, you, you know, you've had a shift in perspective. And so you're, you're, there's something around work that's changing though. If it's not the, the actual career, it could be the job, it could be the place of work. It could be the same kind of career, but just a different company. Mm. Let's get a few more cards here. Then we'll pile one, thank you. Okay, so let's start move this mouse we're not going to get caught into the same situation i actually do think i clicked off the mouse last time so we're going to move the mouse out of the way okay so for the first couple of cards here we've got the karmic trench and the architect here okay so four of scrolls and one of keys it's like the reason if you are changing your work or there's a shift around your career it's like you you could have even been sat in your job at some point thinking nah this is not for me and up you get um, but there's definitely some changing it's like you're whatever you were doing in the past 
it's like you're you're the reason you're changing it is because you've learned it's like there's a karmic end to something here which that possibly that job was entailing but i feel like it's not just the job it's like you're closing out so you've closed out in a year some absolutely major karmic cycles here but also i'm i'm just seeing it's like you 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 there's people around you and if it's not if it's not obviously the case now but there will be where you're able to team up and share your passion share your goals and they're going to understand you they're going to understand you if you're not currently in that situation where you feel like you can share your goals and and how what you want to achieve in this life you will get to a point where you will um I'm hearing it's like the old ways of doing things. That's it. You're you're done with that. Um, I'll be really honest with you. I just keep keep seeing a diff a massive change around sort of friends for the better. I feel like you're getting there's definitely more people around you. Um, that I'm here. I'm sort of more on your wavelength here. Um, next we've got the King of Keys in reverse and the Akashic Library. Okay, so the King of Keys. Um, this is it's it's there's something around stability and it's like your your the, the physical reality you were in how you earn your money your day-to-day -day routine how you viewed things i think is really changing because this is usually king of pentacles in reverse it even the routine it's like you definitely you could have potentially have been plodding along in the same situation maybe the you know same routine for a while and it was like you cut you cut it out the whole thing's just changed now you're definitely re your there's a heck of a lot of change um that's for sure i'm just trying to connect to these you could have had some out a view of something how you earn your money or some certain views that you again you sh you've totally shifted it's like your how you you see things now and how you're going to see things next year you could even go self-employed there's definitely career and friendship groups i'm seeing that are, are, are changing here we've got views of the ego in reverse and then we've got the king of scrolls so i feel like if you've been stubborn or you are stubborn at the moment about again how you should be doing things what you know your life should look like maybe people have made suggestions and you're like yeah yeah, yeah i'll do it later or, or you know oh you'd be so good in this job and you'll be like yeah yeah, yeah no I'll, I'll do it another point in time at this this time next year you, you will already have changed all of that and it's like you you're in a much better position You're, you, there's more freedom as well that you've got you've got a lot more freedom to do it's like if you're on a budget if you were um really kind of plodding along with that you're definitely in a, in a better position you're more able to navigate around you could even be you could have had a holiday by that point as well you could have had a holiday now it's interesting because we've got two kings in this spread but now we've got two queens as well so we've got the Queen of Keys and the Queen of Forces. I feel like you'll be you're balancing your material side with it's like your your thought process, your rationale. How you view how to earn money how you how you view your day-to-day -day, your 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 whole mindset is totally challenged and it's changed things that were motivating you are not the same things you're not i don't think you're i think your concern around money is is a healthy one maybe you were really overtly worrying about money before or are now when you're watching this obviously it's like you're not this isn't a focus it is it's like you've 
there's a massive amount of growth i'll be honest with you those who pick this pile you guys i feel are spiritually evolving um your thought processes how you you do you do your day-to-day -day is definitely changing and this is the other thing we've got caught in the ruins and summer winter right so it could have felt like or it could feel now like you're you're just things are just a bit flatlining that you know you're not too sure what to do maybe you're watching this to cheer yourself up a bit this is you're you're viewing this in a time where it's kind of meant to be like that because this is where you're going to review things and so if you are plodding along if you are feeling a little bit demotivated if you are sat there thinking goodness me this is the longest january on history of january's when is this going to change the energy is really low it's changing but <clears throat> this is the time when you're reviewing all this stuff and and the changes are going to be very very even for this space where i always yawn for some, <laughs> i'm not even tired but for some reason i'm yawning maybe maybe you're tired maybe you're exhausted maybe you're watching this thinking when is this going to change um it's coming okay it this is the thing it's like your two most strong months are going to be summer and winter. So, th so this winter up until April is going to be strong for you because I think you're going to get things done that you maybe thought you, you won't. Summer is going to be very positive. I keep seeing that you might even get a holiday. So if you're sat there going, oh yeah, but I'm skint, I think you might get a holiday. Now, I can't guarantee everyone's getting a holiday, but I feel like you might. So I'm also, it's, there's something about changing your environment. It's like we need to get you totally well that's what's going to happen you're going to be out and about again i'm yawning you're probably tired maybe the job that you're in the people you're around it's it's you're feeling like you're a bit you're needing a break or you're just tired with things we've also got the chess game here so this is about stra strategy sitting and planning it's like um your problems now are, are they're not the same it's like when this time next year if you were to fast forward you're not you're not going to be worrying about the same things they're saying resolved so i feel like you've done quite a lot to get to that point point. and bottom of the deck is the king of forces so now we've got two counterparts but the the the, the king of pentacles was reversed with you or the queen of pentacles um so feminine energy is reversed so it's more healthy way of uh, sort of viewing money and the queen of forces so queen of um queen i think it's the queen of swords one sec no it's the queen of wands um so you're you're going to be able to do more things around money because you have the resources. It's like if you're sat here one worrying about, well, I don't think I can do that because money's an, you know, an issue or I would love to do this, but my money's an issue and I, so therefore I have to wait. This is changing. This is definitely changing. You're going to have the opportunity. This is the king of wands. So again, fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, yeah you're, you're, you're able to take action you're able to take action you're able to take a lot more action um the problems are resolved the more the issues that once were are being are being sort of taken care of i'm hearing so for pile one please a year from now we've also got archangel Raphael. so there's definitely some love coming in so if you're um if you're looking for that you are at some stage going to be having a, a love connection that will have come in so this time next year you'll be in a relationship someone has already offered you some commitment of some kind you're in a relationship and i feel like that, that again this time next year whenever you're watching it you're in that you're you, you would already be aware of that it's happening so to speak we've also got the buddha prepares so again it's like you're not this is not an energy of i i've got all these issues money's a problem and actually i i really feel like this is um 
it's like these issues are resolved and it's a distant memory i feel like there's a lot of changes uh, and it's your temperament as well it's how you're you're not you're more relaxed you're not as concerned um so if you're sat there trying to work over an issue that's resolved this time next year now you might sit there and go well that's an absolutely huge issue i want to save up for a house how am i going to afford that this time next year there's going to be some element that you will understand how to reach that so it's like an opportunity would have developed for you to then save up but there's some kind of entry point that will allow you to get into that so the answers are being given here essentially and even if you're not sure of what to do there will be answers given for that as well so you'll end up, you'll understand where how you're moving forward in that respect so if you're totally confused at this point you're getting some idea of what where to go if you know where you want to go but you're limited with resources you're being given some opportunity there as well and you're also being given some love opportunity and it could even be hand in hand the work and the love could maybe you meet this new person through this new connection at work or the new opportunity yeah look it's like you're setting your course you you're very clear on what you want so this is three of scrolls now so this is three of swords is this three of swords you could have um decided to move forward because you know that this new opportunity is going to serve you more longer term than what you're currently in um so this time next year that's it you're you've wrapped that up so to speak let's have a look what else this time next year wow fated meeting so put it this way if you're in a situation that you're sat there now going well this this is rubbish like i don't feel like this is going anywhere i don't know what i'm doing maybe you're totally confused it could well be that they're going to start moving you into different situations in order to get you to this point where there is a fated meeting which means that you can then find this love connection all right um so if things are, are seeming like put it this way if you're seeming to think well this i'm having some random situations coming towards me well yeah because i feel like spirit are trying to navigate you into a point where you can meet this person that is meant to happen that whatever this is that there is a chance meeting here that's meant to happen that is meant to lead to something stable you know and it's interesting because i've just had course correction so it might not be the person that you think it is now i can't guarantee that's going to be for everyone but i've just heard my guide say it anything else for those who picked part one please this time next year a year from now a year from now what's going on please and i feel like if someone sat there going well that's really annoying you know i'm in a commitment or i'm in a marriage how is that going to work it could be that the fated meeting is you're going to meet someone that's going to help you in some way with this you know course correction where you're setting your goals for work maybe and the archangel Ray raphael is the, the the connection you're currently in is brilliant it's all it's stable still this time next year so take it as it resonates um but there's definitely a chance encounter here that's going to develop or help your your circumstances improve clarify fated meeting please spirit clarify the fated meeting will wisdom and mind so it could well be that you're manifesting this but there's definitely whatever this is for it's for your soul growth whatever this whatever the fated meeting is for it and whoever it brings in whatever it ushers in whether it i mean i feel like it's going to be a mixed bag for everyone watching this it's it's to it's like um you're being stretched that sounds awful to say but it is it's like you're being challenged you're being stretched you're what you think because I, I feel like there's also a, an element of surprise i don't, I don't think you're if i was to because the way they're showing it to me i don't think if i was to show you how your life would be you'd be like oh yeah that's exactly what i thought I, I don't feel like that's the case there's a lot of um being stretched is usually when you're challenged in some way 
onto a different path because actually it suits you more. Now, you might sit there and go, yeah, but I want to do this job. And why are you telling me I won't do that? There could be a chance encounter of some kind, fated meeting, that shifts that perspective or gives you an opportunity that you weren't aware of that the more you sit and think about it, the more you're like, actually, this is really kind of interesting because I'd never thought of that. But yeah, I really do want to do this. This is and it's not going away. The idea doesn't go away. By that point, this time next year, you have already, I feel, known what these changes are and you know where you're going with it. It's like the uncertainty isn't there. You're aware of what's what's to come. Those who picked car one, please. Yeah. Initiation and the Count Saint Germain. So this is about healing. So again, if you've been let down, disappointed, if you're in that energy at the moment, maybe you're watching this and you've just split up with someone. Uh, maybe there's a, a loss that's around you or some grieving. There's definitely healing that has been, you've probably done a lot of healing. Um, there's also an element of like your care, your self-care and or your care to others that is, yeah, it's like, because we've also got the sands of time here as well that came out. So it's like there's some distance has been put to, between you and the situation that's allowing you, I'm, I'm just hearing comfort. You're not, if you're watching this and you're, you're in discomfort emotionally and you're sat there going, yeah, but my, you know, a loved one's just passed. Maybe you've just experienced a love, you know, God forbid. Maybe you have already just experienced a loved one that's passed and that you're just sat there going, how on earth is this ever going to get better? Well, I mean, look, it's a loved one that's passed. Obviously, that is going to be horrific and very painful to deal with. And what they're saying is you're not going to obviously just start cartwheeling because that's, you know, that's a heck of a thing to have to go through. But what they're saying is, is that there has been some time that's passed and there's you've done a lot of healing. Now, that's not to say in this time next year, you're going to sit there and be like, well, I'm OK now, because obviously sometimes, the you know, the grieving is everyone's different. They usually I mean, I hate putting time scales on it, but they usually give four years for people to go through a grieving process, you know, traditionally. But realistically, like I, I know people that have lost children, their own children, and you can't put a time on, on that. That's a heck of a situation to go through. This is just telling me that you have gone through a heck of a healing process in that one year and you've done a lot of work. And OK, yes, there's still a way to go. And yes, it's still painful. But if this is you, obviously, if it's not you, then you're fine. But if this is you, it's like the time has passed and, and you're, you're starting to shed some of that discomfort. All right. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a dog, so it could even be you've lost a pet. And if you've lost a pet, I thought I'm, I'm getting all emotional now because I love dogs. I love animals. So um, I'm hearing give it time, give it time. But this time next year, I can't sit and be like, yeah, you're over it, uh, you know, because I just feel like that's very dismissive of people's feelings because when you're mourning someone that, do you know what I mean? I don't think that's very helpful to say that to someone. I really don't. Um Put it this way, I, f I feel like you may have been able to under not understand it, but you may be a bit more at peace. You're more at peace with what has passed, all right? That's how I kind of want to say it, um, the best way, really. Those who picked part number one, those who picked part number one, please. This time next year, what would have happened? This time next year, a year from now. Yeah. Yeah, look. You've got two worlds here. So this is it's night and day. You're not... It, so if you're very... You're mourning something. You're in a low mood. You're, you, you feel isolated. You are total polar opposite. You're not in that position. You've got people around you that you care about. That There's a very different very kind of different energy going on here okay you've also got archangel gabriel this is the angel of communication so you could have an upgrade in your communication maybe you've got people to talk to maybe you're channeling your energy in a different way maybe you were once an artist that you were channeling art through maybe now you're writing maybe now you're making music 
is something about how you communicate is is upgraded it's like maybe your throat chakra has got undergone a bit of an upgrade and maybe you're channeling now you know um maybe there was people that you weren't speaking to maybe you've watched this video you've just had an argument with someone and that you're like well you know not good you know or maybe you know your lover you're watching this and your lover isn't speaking to you well they are by this point they are all right um, or you've gained communication or you've gained insight into the whole situation. So if you've come onto this with something in your mind to say, oh, you know, like I, I've just gone for a work promotion. I don't know if I'm going to get it. You've found out this time next year, you found out. All right. Um, something that you wouldn't have ordinarily, or maybe, you know, something that, you aren't sure about now you'll get you'll get you've got clarity on this time next year it's you've had that clarity and then we've also got the lightning bolt okay so this is not just clarity it's like you there's some some changes like with the two of what two worlds the archangel gabriel and the lightning bolt it's like your awareness has changed your insight has changed you, you you've been given some truth and that's it, you're, you're the two worlds, what the world you're in now compared to the world next year is very different. Um, I'm hearing the two, you're being a, put in, into alignment, which is more beneficial. So the changes, you might sit there and go, yeah, but I'm really happy now. I don't want two different worlds. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> you know, then don't. <laughs> like, you know then don't change your job if you don't want the do you know what i mean don't change your job don't you know don't change your friends that you know i don't know what to say to you really um just gonna take a sip of my soup also again around love if you're currently in a position where you're totally confused around the love interest or what you should do or how that's gone, that's totally been wrapped up. You already know where you stand, if you still stand, because I, I, I will pretty much tell you that, let's say, for example, if you're watching this and this is early days in a connection or you're not together, this time next year, it would have wrapped itself up. So you're either aware of where you stand or, well, yeah, you're just aware of where you stand. it's very much being clarified and you know the position it's like you're not you're not confused let me just grab some more soup i'm going to pause this so first yeah so for those who are watching this in not a great position or that have lost someone something you have really re rebuilt from that you you've you've made a play here um and you've changed it it could have even been karmic um, I'm not saying it is for definite, but whatever, it could have been making you, you know, try and get through something in order for you to, again, make these changes. If you've been around someone, an air sign, that has, um, you know, challenged you, maybe that person's got an ego. It's interesting because... I feel like they might have been reliant upon you to make the decision. And I feel like this time next year you've made your decision, which is, I'm just hearing the ego's got to go. So if you're currently in a connection whereby you're wanting to see this time next year where that will go, I feel like there's definitely have been a bit of a cycle of someone's ego that was causing a problem and that you then have decided where you want to take that. So whether or not you then decide, actually, I can't be dealing with this, you've done you've got rid of it but it's down to you it's not down to the other person it's actually you that's going to be making that decision and you already have this time a year on um so i'm hearing something about someone was tripped up around money and again if you were owed money i feel like someone's been tripped up over that maybe you're in a position that um someone was supposed to pay you money and you're again you're sat watching this video thinking when are they gonna pay me back put it this way i feel like if they didn't they, they're they're being 
pulled up on it. Um, so a year from now is that possibly you've resolved it, but they have been caught out. Maybe there's further revelations. Maybe they've been doing it through a few people and, and people are starting to come aware of it. There's definitely a lot of karma, but it, to be really honest with you, I feel like it's it's you're getting it's paid back in your favor. I don't I'm not seeing anyone that's it's like you're getting a lot of healing from this year and you you you've actually a lot of these potential disappointments or letdowns. It's like that's it, you've moved on. And actually there's a potential upgrade in your own karma um because of what you've had to deal with whereas the other people so put it this way, if you're watching this and you're fuming because maybe an ex-love has done something and you, you want to see what's going to happen, oh, they, 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 they've been shot in the foot. Because look, you don't get the Karmic Trench, the Akashic Library, the King of Keys in reverse, um, the Initiation and the, the Count Saint Germain, randomly. It's like, again, you've also got, don't forget, you've got the Lightning Bolt. So something has changed here and I feel like it's benefited you. Again, don't forget the sands of time, um, the two worlds. It's like you have transitioned out to a point where you're being, you're, you're gaining something from this. So if you've been shit on, someone's been naughty, you know, maybe there, there was, maybe you're watching this, someone you just found, found out someone was cheating or, you know, maybe previously, you know, you, you're, you're trying to work out what to do. This has been paid back in your favour a year from now. There could also be competitive energy. Maybe you're watching this thinking, well, there's a, some girl at work or, you know, some energy at work here that's driving me absolutely mad. That's resolved. A year from now, that's not, you're not, you, you don't need to worry about that. There could also be a third party situation you're involved with. A year from now, it's not an issue. Totally resolved. That And this is the thing, everyone's going to be different, but again, if it is a third party, I feel like the previous information is countered, which is you're going to be one the one to decide what happens. Not him, and not her. All right, or you know, take it as it resonates. Not not him or not her, whichever you know. You're in charge, the architect. You're in charge. <clears throat> you're calm. You're confident. You understand how things are working. You're in charge. You've successfully navigated through. You've got your truth as well. You've got your truth. You may even be told that some karma that someone received based on what was going on with them because of what they put you through. Maybe you're getting, you know, you know, let's say, for example, someone that, you, you know, you've lost it, you've walked away from this time next year. You, you're very much aware of how their life panned out because you're being told it. You're gaining that information. Right, let's see. Part number one, please. What else? For part number one, a year from now. Part number one, please. Yeah, that's it. This is, look, look how far you've come. Well, you, you can't because you, you're watching this and it hasn't happened yet. But <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. Um see i'm already a year from now in this energy celebrating with you like yay <laughs> what an idiot you are like um clearing the way is you've successfully navigated through this so again your issues that you're sat thinking about now this is not an issue for you you've done you've resolved it Wow. If you, put it this way, also if you are spiritual and or intuitive and or have healing abilities, empathic abilities, you are cooking with gas. You've definitely had an upgrade because we've got now the initiation of Count Saint Germain, which is about healing ability, the violet flame, look into the violet flame if you're not already aware if you're drawn to that. We've also got the light of the world. Wow. Well like that's some that's some light working type ability right there. This is about overcoming some kind of darkness and following your own inner light to where your freedom lies. So you, you are essentially, you've lightened your load, you've evolved on a soul level 
and you probably gain some tools along the way to help you spiritually and you're not viewing things anywhere near the same this is amazing what an amazing card to get the light of the world i want to read that from the book i really want to read that from the book that is insane an old sage holds a glowing lantern and knocks on a door with no latch a young man inside is too distracted to answer the door your divine being is trying to get your attention all it takes is a moment of your awareness to open the door through though your life may be busy the opportunity now presents itself for you to move into a higher awareness it's a great time to open to your higher self and all its wisdom and powers it's your soul your eternal being who approaches but it's up to you and only you to open the door you do that by taking real and regular action in knowing and feeling the wise and radiant being you are forever through meditation and study you can own that enormous love power and vision you can make every day sacred by going within once you do you will know a radiant greater power in every step and with every word you'll be able to bring this magnific magnificent force to your world changing your life forever wowza wow with a deep breath, you fill yourself with the grace and peace and light of your higher self. Your vision opens to a wider universe and you realise that all you that you have all the time and power in the world. Eternity fills you. That is insane. I've what an I'm sorry, but that sorry, but that's that's such a this energy is I could just sit in this energy forever. This is some brilliant energy, guys. Congratulations. That's really well done. You've, I think you've got an amazing year. Um, it might not be easy, but I feel like this time next year, you've got an extremely powerful outcome, very positive outcome. Okay, guys, that was your uh, a year from now. Where will you be? Hopefully that's been of some help. Thank you for you, all of your uh, likes, shares, subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Until next time, take care. Hi, Pile 2. This is going to be your pick a card for a year from now. Where will you be? You chose the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. Let's get started. So I've just done a pre-shuffle, but we're going to do a, another one. Just to try and get... This is also just very recently being saved and cleared. But those who picked this pile, please, at the time of watching a year from now, where will they be, please? Pile 2, deck 2. Two, this deck a year from now what's going on thank you let's just tune into the energies to try and get some whoa wow this is uh there's definitely some kind of family stable environment that you've got going on here so this is the four no this is the four of wands yep Foundation and achievements. The four of wands is usually union and harmony, uh, home life, um, living, living with, you know, living with people, um, reunion, community. We've also got the magician here, awareness. And then we've got the seven of cups, choose wisely. You've definitely, um, again, settled at home. You've probably manifested quite a lot of um, opportunity here. And I feel like maybe at some point you were um, concerned where you were going to take it. Maybe you were confused where you were going to take it. I'm hearing disruption, but... I feel like that's settled. Maybe you're, in, you're watching this and your life's a bit disrupted at the moment, but from this point, a year from now, I don't think it will be. We've also got five of pentacles, challenges and obstacles. No, four, five of wands, beg your pardon, not, not pentacles, wands. And then we've got the four of pentacles, firm foundations. You're definitely, um, someone's very, <laughs> someone's very stubborn. This is a, I mean, could be an earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have um, 
had to kind of really kind of fight. You you may have really kind of fought for something here. Um, and the very focus is like it's almost like you've manifested something. But it brought more opportunity. It brought more things, uh, more options. And then you had to kind of fight your way through that to try and get what it was you wanted. Whatever it is, I feel like your security it, and possibly your love life was your main focus. And it's like that's there because we've got the four of wands here. Is that all? You want all those cards? Is there other way? Really? We've got the two of pentacles, ace of wands, or passion ignited, triumph, which I think is the chariot, yeah, number seven. We've got the eight of swords, which is trapped in fear, and then we've got the crown chakra, sorry, beg your pardon, throat chakra. So confirming the four of, what, um, four of wands, we've got the two of pentacles, so there's definitely Whatever you're viewing your security as now and, and your day to day, you are you, you probably questioning whether that is still valid, whether you still want that. All right. But there is one thousand percent some crazy manifestation you've got going on because you've got the awareness and the passion ignited. So the magician and the ace of wands, so you've got the magician and the and the magic wand here. So. If at that stage you are confused as to where to take, you know, uh, maybe a living environment with someone, a living arrangement, um, a practical day-to-day -day sort of grounded arrangement that you currently have. It could, I mean, look, for it could be even community. Maybe you've you're you've um, you're not entirely sure who the people maybe around you at the moment. You're maybe you're sort of struggling and feeling like maybe they're not so much your people and this time next year it's like you're still trying to work through that um but you're definitely manifesting changes here you're 100 percent manifesting some changes here um and i think from that you're manifesting so 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 effectively that you've got the seven of cups which is choose wisely so just be aware that if you're <laughs> I, again, I don't know why I want to say this, but I want to say if you're Aries, especially, wait. <laughs> like, by all means, manifest, but don't sort of keep manifesting, then manifest another thing, then then keep because I feel like you're gonna get all of these things, it, you know, coming to you, and I don't know if you're gonna know what to, what you're gonna do with them because it just feels like you're then confused, you know, and it's like, and because this is what they're trying to show me, it's like in a year from now. Um, you're definitely not so sure about your living arrangements and or let's clarify this clarify the four of wands with the two of pentacles please maybe you are dead set on a on a situation at the moment yeah i think you might even be dead set on something this time next year that's going to happen and i don't know if it will because we've got victory and success in the reverse so I would be keeping an open mind, but there's definitely something you're manifesting here that by that point you have absolutely grabbed with both hands. Um, you've definitely worked through because we've got here as well obstacles and challenges with trapped in fear. So do you usually have a situation where your mind you're overthinking and then it blocks you a little bit because you're, you're overthinking a lot and then you're not entirely sure because you're, you're kind of like, oh, I've got so many options here. I don't know what to do because uh, I've kind of manifested all this now. I don't know how to deal with it. Or maybe day to day, you, you've just got a lot of options in your thought process, how you decide to, you know, your your kind of um, decision making ability is not as on point as maybe what it needs to be. That's going to, I feel, change um, because we've also got, look, we've got fat, firm foundation here and we've got throat chakra. So your needs you you are speaking up about your needs all right you're speaking up about what you want how you feel of it's of benefit so if you feel like you're not heard or people are dismissive that is completely different you are being hit you're being acknowledged um your your security 
and it's interesting because I'm also hearing as well if you if you've got someone that maybe you're waiting for an apology from so if you're sat here going well I only just kind of wanted to watch because I wanted to see if someone's going to apologize to me this time next year that, that that's done that's wrapped up it's like and for, for some of you I think you will get an apology You've got two fives and you've got two sevens. So first of all, there's, there's definitely some changes here that's coming up around um, your, how you, um, what you're currently involved with at the moment is going to be different. You're not, your whole, um, what you're putting your energy into is going to be totally different. And also, it's how you, I feel like how you communicate is going to be very different. It's like you're, if you're not someone that stands up for yourself, you will be. If you're not someone that can assert themselves or feels confident in it, you will be. There's also, again, you may have, um, at this stage, maybe you're watching this and you've undergone a loss. Okay, maybe you're watching this and wanting some reassurance um, because you've had to go through that. Um, again, now we've got three, we've got now four fives. So you've got now a complete set. So every part emotionally, mentally, spiritually, your environment, it's changed every, at no, probably nothing, not much is going to remain the same. Um, which is, I view it as very positive. Um, so for example, if you're monetary situation is not great that's going to improve um maybe mentally you've you've struggled a little bit maybe you've suffered a little bit from me mental health that's you've got a plan in place um emotionally maybe you didn't have a great support network that's being looked at and you're having some support there yeah it's like you're whatever the obstacles and challenges that you've got now this is not any I mean, look, to be totally honest with you, this, this, these two are the, the focus for me because in amongst the magician and the ace of wands or, you know, in my opinion, the magician and the, and the, and the magic wand the magician has in order to manifest anything, you've got what has probably been quite a conflicting energy around you where you have probably had to really try and fight to kind of get through quite a lot of things this is very powerful energy so i feel like this time next year you have overcome whatever's going on at the moment this is dealt with i'm hearing wrapped up it's been wrapped up it's not an issue the the possibly the only one thing that's yet to be decided is a commitment and or a living arrangement or four of wands it can be marriage it can be you know partnership it can be you know maybe a twin flame so there's there's some let's clarify there's because we've got don't forget we've got victory and success in reverse here so it's like something about that situation has had to change all right a year from now possibly you've had another offer all right because we've got temptation here this is the devil card so it could well be that, um, yeah, maybe you, you've had someone come along and you were like, you know, you were tempted to kind of go towards that situation, you know. And so at that point, you're juggling. Or at the moment, maybe you're watching this and this has already happened. Maybe you're someone you're with, you you know, you, you want, you're tempted to sort of, you know, someone else has caught your eye or maybe they have maybe you're in the situation where that's happening at the moment and you're wondering whether or not that's changed well from where i'm looking it looks like you're still very confused as to what you want to do so you may even still be in the same position um now it doesn't say whether it's the same person or the same you know i feel like everyone's gonna be different but at the bottom of the deck we do have the three of 
the three of wands okay so this is about looking to the future um okay yes it can be a third party um but it's also about alliances and partnerships yeah it's the three of wands so this is again future movement future plans again confusion mental conflict all right so usually this is about um not sure of what to, what to do not sure of to decide or may, you might even be unwilling to see a certain situation in front of you because it's too painful <clears throat> so pile two please this time next year where will they be pile two we've got the high priestess intuition this is the keeper of secrets but it's also someone who is extremely intuitive who is very good on their gut instincts and usually very accurate so you may have had something pop into your head a minute ago stick with it because it feels like you're right we've just this high priestess card came out um and we've also got the two of cups so this is about spiritual union and partnership all right now okay yes there could be another person involved maybe you're part of a third party but this card came out last so it looks like the partnership's been resolved all right for the majority of you i can't guarantee all of you but the majority of you i feel like this all this love scenario has has been resolved it's like it's just on the border of getting resolved and it will be a year from, from now yeah we've got the hermit card so it's again it's like you found your inner light you found your inner strength you've probably gone through maybe a period of isolation where you've tried to work everything out you've overcome that bottom of the deck nine of cups fulfillment of wishes all right so it may well be that you have to choose to be single for a while or you know and then you met someone brilliant you know but there's definitely a change on the horizon around love life for the, for the positive you know those who picked the deck who yeah so we've got six of swords this is about moving on to calmer waters here so the issues that you're going through this is not going to be a problem it, it's resolved all right again it, it looks like it could be around love um maybe you've had to you've sacrificed your needs because you wanted to keep a partnership that's being done but the power's in your hands here again with this magician and pile two please this pile a year from now wow yeah it's like there's something that's in your um intuition here that you're probably gut instincts telling you will be happening a year from now they're saying wait because i feel like you might not have all the pieces to that jigsaw so maybe whatever was popping in your head just before i said about that that kind of intuition or maybe at the time when i said about the intuition hello okay someone obviously didn't want me to finish that um there was something in your head and i feel like maybe you're questioning oh i wonder if that's going to come up in this reading you need to it's a waiting process for that and the reason being is you don't have all the information to hand all right so just bide your time best you can but there's there's some information you're missing about that that you're going to get this time next year and it would have been wrapped up all right pile two wow yeah we've got three of cups here rejoice and celebration so reunion this is about celebration friendships coming together um a reunion of people so again maybe you're separated everyone's gonna be different i feel like there's a few different scenarios around love but there's a lot of people around love in this in this second pile um that have questions Pile two, what else can you tell me, please? Pile two, what else is going on, please? Pile two. Those who picked pile two, what else is going on, please? For some reason, I just heard ring. <clears throat> I feel like someone might have been have gotten engaged. All right, I can't say. I don't think there's many of you. It's a handful of you, possibly two maybe three 
I would say maximum four, two to four people. I'm just channeling as I'm, I'm shuffling as well, just, just so you know. She's just telling me bits and pieces. Yeah, it's like um, your confidence. Maybe you've gone through a loss of some of some kind, um, but there's definitely some shift in confidence, and it's like your your confidence has shifted here. Uh, you've gained confidence. There's also a change in your willpower. You've got more an increase in your willpower. So if you've maybe you've struggled with your weight, I feel like that's you're, you're balancing that out. Maybe you eat or there's something that you do or something that you have as a habit that you're doing <clears throat> that um, helps you feel, sort of cope with things. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling really sad all of a sudden now. Um, I feel like maybe you're eating something that's helping you cope with something or maybe it's drink. There's something here that you're doing to help you cope with a loss. You might even be doing it now. I think this time next year it's, it's wrapped up. Um, you're not dealing with that in the same way. I feel like your willpower has increased and your confidence has increased. But there's definitely something about weight. Someone's not happy about their weight and they're trying to get something sorted. Can you just look at your thyroid as well? I want to say you need to look at your... And I can't guarantee that's for everyone, obviously. But someone's got a thyroid issue here that I don't think they know about. Can you speak to your doctor? And I feel like your weight would be, you, you would be classed as obese or, or morbidly obese. Uh, I would say that would be the, I hate labels, but I, it's, it's quicker than me having to sort of explain. So apologies if that's offended anyone, but I, I, it's the easiest, most technical medical term I can give. Although I hate that word. It, I, the expression is awful, to be honest with you, the way that they, they phrase that. But yeah. And I don't know why, but I've just got a rabbit here. It's the, um, I'll tell you what that is. That's the magician reference. You're pulling a rabbit out the hat. You're pulling a rabbit out the hat. Someone's over underestimated you. And this time next year, you pulled a rabbit out the hat. You've definitely gone further than what people thought you would. So if you're, again, if you're sat here watching this now going, oh, people really underestimate me. They don't listen to me. They don't really take my voice into consideration. They don't really listen to me. That's changing. That's changing. I feel like, again, this power, it's like you're, um, there's a power behind something about your knowledge. You, you underestimate yourself, and I don't think you, you should, because you, you've got some crazy decent abilities here with this. Again, you've got a rabbit, a, a magician, and a, ma a magic wand here. Don't underestimate yourself. I think you may have shut some people up this time next year, like this time next year, based on things that you've done that you people may not have been expecting. Yeah, it's like maybe you've been counted out. Maybe people sat there going, oh, you know, but their weights, and they're never going to sort that out. Or they're never going to do this. They're never going to do that. Well, I'll be honest with you. From these cards, it looks like you... Put it this way, don't forget, you can pretty much do anything. If you want to sit and manifest something, you know, between now and next year, the chances are you, you'll be able to do it, if I'm totally honest with you, with these cards. So maybe you've been selling yourself short and that you were under-egging underestimating yourself this this time next year i feel like you're going to start seeing actually maybe i can do more than what i thought maybe i can give more than what i thought maybe i you're probably going to get more than what you think as well there's definitely a surprise it's like there's again rabbit out the hat there's, there's a bit of a surprise here final card please for pile two final card next time this time next year this time next year please yeah I'm sure I pulled this card earlier. The Two of Swords. It's like something that you previously thought wasn't happening is and or a change, a shift in meant in your perspective, uh, perspective. I can't even speak. Perspective or perception. But you're definitely, I think you might even be viewing yourself differently. Yeah, look, stand your ground. So again, if you're if you're in a position where maybe someone's over sort of dominant towards you, maybe it's a partner now, maybe it's a boss. I think you've overcome this because you've stood your ground and you've worked through it. 
I think that's definite. Right, let's pull, um, I just want to pull one outcome card here for this. So pull two outcome, please, this time next year. What is the outcome, please? So pull two, this time next year. Oh, this is amazing. Guys, amazing. This time next year, the outcome is blessed. You've got some very powerful changes coming here that's really from spirit, really helping you along. This is amazing news. Congratulations, guys. That's awesome. So hopefully that's been of some assistance. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. All of your likes, shares and subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah, and have a, an amazing year. <laughs> amazing day. Take care. Bye. Hi, part three. This is your pick a card for a year from now. What will be happening? You pick par three, which is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck by John Holland. Let's get started. So I've done a pre-shuffle. About the twig of another one, just so we know exactly what the deal is. And this is a freshly cleansed deck. So we're ready to go. Right. Oh, oh. that looks like the Temperance card's wanting to come out. So it looks like possible healing, but... This time next year, a year from now, please, Spirit. Those who picked Pile 3. Those who picked Pile 3. A year from now. What can they expect? What's going on a year from now, please? Those who picked Pile 3. Wow. Wow. You may... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, this is, you've definitely not hung around, right? So we've got the Hierophant and the Empress, the first two cards out. If you are sat here watching this video going, yeah, I really want to be married. Yeah, I really want babies. Well, I mean, that's definitely a possibility here. So again, if you're watching this going, well, I don't want, I don't want babies. I don't want to be married. Then the answer is just say no. Uh, and maybe this doesn't apply to you. So, Okay. Oh, I'm hearing temptation. It's like, yeah, I feel like you've, yeah, a lot, lots of offer. I feel like you've had um, strong offer. You could also have had an opportunity um, to learn a lot of lessons here. And it's like you're thriving. You're 100% thriving. Um there's a very strong, I feel like you're very strongly supported, not just by spirit. I think you've got, this time next year, a lot of um, people that are backing you for, for a lot of different things. But there's definitely um, a strength that you've got. There's a very strong energy that you're showing that is coming across in these cards. A lot of yellow, very strong willpower and uh, confidence. It's like you, that's it. <laughs> It's like, well, look at the first two cards that came out. That that, that was kind of on the bottom of the deck. Find balance. So you've definitely secured your balance. You've definitely kind of grounded yourself. There's definitely a grounded element to all this. Um, it, it feels as well very spiritually aligned. It's like you're... It's an, it was like a natural progression. Um, yeah. Pile three, please. This time next year, a year from now. Wow. Four of Wands. Wow. Stable home life. Possibly f twin flame union. Fam pregnancy. Maybe you could even be a mother, but you could also be married. So again, if you're not looking for a stable relationship if you're not looking to have babies if you're not someone who wants to get married then again this is not going to apply to you but i'm just saying for those who do this time next year you are either there and it's happened and you've got married or the offer has been given all right you could i mean look again the empress card i i can't sit and go every single one of you is going to be in this position but I want to say the majority of you have had definitely one or, or well, it could be all three of you, all three of the options. But there's definitely some st stability. So either you've had an offer of moving in with someone and there's a hint, uh, there's an engagement or you've had 
you know, an offer to marry someone, you've got pregnant and there's an engagement. You know what I mean? It's like there's there's a lot going on here. Um, we've also got the fall on the bottom of the deck, which suggests children. So you may have children at the moment. Maybe you're expecting. This time next year, you need par three. Nine of Cups. Guys, I want what you're having. I'm going to watch this video and pick part three. <laughs> wow. Dreams coming true. This is this is amazing. It's all in your you've got look, look at look at that image as well. It's in your hand that the it's you're you you're able to do this. This is this is achievable. But should we stop the video there? <laughs> Let's stop it. We don't want any. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm getting I've got like a Disney song in my head. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to listen to see what the lyrics are. Okay, it's not telling me the actual ver chorus. It's going through the verse. I've got gadgets and gizmos galore. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a Disney buff. I've, I, I only watched the, and people are going to be shocked, but I only watched The Lion King two years ago. Because I watched Bambi as a kid and it scarred me for life. So I never <laughs> refused to watch that. Okay. Let's see what this, what this song is. Someone's either very much into... Um, there's definitely a lot of gifts and... Part of your world. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a littlest mermaid. Part of your world. Yeah, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got what's it's and who's it's galore. Let me see if I can get the lyrics here. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I can give you some of these lyrics. Wow, that's insane. Okay, my heart is like, I feel like I'm watching it. I'm in a, I feel like you're in a Disney film. Oh my god, right, Jai, don't sing this, for goodness sake. Maybe he's right. Maybe there is something the matter with me. I just don't... Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Old feet. Up where they... I'll skip to the, the main chorus. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world energy the energy guys that is uh i'm tapping into is i feel like i'm overcome with emotion i'll be totally honest with you i'm trying not to cry right now if you are sat watching this thinking and you pick path three thinking i don't know what's coming for me I, I really want something to cheer me up guys this this is like this is something out of a Disney film. Like, I, 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 and I don't want to sit and sell that for everyone because I feel like that's really, like, we don't want to sell fake, you know, rubbish. You know what I mean? We've got to be realistic with this. But, what amazing energy. I feel, I feel like I'm just, I want to do like a cartwheel or something. Wow. You are, you, you guys are cooking my gas. It's like, the, the, there's absolutely no shadow of doubt in my, I, I'm scared to, I don't want to point any, should we just end the video here? This time next year for part three, please. I don't know where to. Yeah, look, the fall again, you've taken a leap of faith. So again, maybe you, you're in the position where you're like, oh, but I would never risk, you know, on, on, a, on a chance. Well, you've, you've done it. And it's like you're living in this kind of carefree energy that has paid off, I feel.
we've got two of wands so if you're confused where you weren't sure you spread your wings okay you have decided and look at that energy someone sat in a freaking burst of starlight it's like the the path this person's on is going to this amazing portal of spiritual energy and it, it, it kind of all it would take is that trust to kind of believe essentially but you've done it it's like maybe that person that you married was a risk or maybe you saw them as a risk but you did it or maybe you know you were advised that maybe you've been told there's maybe um, obviously i can't go into medical condition for everyone but maybe you were advised that medically you wouldn't be able to have kids or something and maybe suddenly there's been some advancement or change you never know because it just looks like there's like freaking miracles happening it's like there's very strong um I mean look at all of it look i'll be honest with you you've got someone holding the energy some very strong energy there which is in the empress card you've got another person holding energy here which is blue energy there's a lot i feel that you 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 may not be aware of that you're probably more in control than you think so maybe you're, you're sat here thinking oh i don't know if this sounds like me don't underestimate yourself here because look it's like this is someone who's about to jump and take that leap of faith and this is someone who has just taken that leap of faith because actually the power was always in their hands this is insane you could also be watching this thinking oh that would never happen to me look well yeah okay this is three of swords sadness and isolation so maybe you've gone through a heck of a lot to get to this point and which is even more the sweeter for it you know maybe you've had to you know fight for this and that's why this you, you might be sat there going oh no, no I, this is not for me you know well i can't i can't sit and go yeah every single human being watching this is a one million percent going to get every one of these three you know amazing four amazing things where all your dreams come true there's a, a marriage uh, a living uh, upgrade with you with your, your husband partner and a uh, pregnancy potentially also other children as well around obviously i can't guarantee that for absolutely everyone but it definitely looks like you've come through a lot and that you're getting some very strong rewards yeah <clears throat> choose your battles okay so if let's say for example you're maybe you're arguing with people maybe you've got things going on at the moment where you're fighting to be heard or there's there's some issues it's like you've probably not fought every single one of those issues for the last year you've probably picked and chosen which ones are relevant maybe with your partner maybe with family and so you've determined you've deemed what is the most important to stand your ground on and you did so maybe again, maybe you're maybe you're fighting with your partner at the moment and you're sitting there thinking, I don't see that. That's going to be marriage. Maybe it's not the same partner, but maybe it is. And if it is, you've just maybe they've chosen their battles. So maybe they're not as argumentative or maybe you've chosen your battles and you're picking the things that you can't compromise on and you're standing your ground with them and other things you're being more relaxed about. And or you're letting them, you know, it's give and take, isn't it? It's a balance. But we've also got here, now I think this is, um, I'll just put my back tarot deck on top of this book, which is what I, the book I need. Um, yeah. So we've got the sun card here, which is one of the most <laughs> powerful cards in the deck. If not, in my opinion, the most powerful card. It's, it's like, <laughs> I've got that little mermaid song in my head again. Um, it's it's like joy happiness it's like you know sustenance it's nourishment emotionally fulfilled it's like bliss you know but this is also kids so there's a lot of um similar energy here but you're you, you i mean look i'll be real you look you guys look happy you know you look like you you're in your element pile three this a year from now wow yeah there's been a release there's a change of death this is death card so again a recycle process a rebirth a recalibration something that was released you've definitely changed something 
I mean, whatever it was, it must have been brilliant because you look at all the cards you've got. Um, we've also got challenging times in reverse. So this is five of one. So competition, arguments, it's like that's that's been, again, don't forget we had the choose your battle. So you've picked and chosen your battles and the competition's over, it's done. You're not you're not fighting over the same things. It's it's no longer an issue. You're, you're focused on what you know you can't compromise on and what you can it's resolved all right there's no no one's no no one from spirit sat there going you know this is still a problem you've also got a balanced partnership here with the six of pentacles so this is giving and receiving so there's an equal give and take so there's definitely a leveling out around a partnership and or you know where you're convening now if you've had headaches around <laughs> the situation That is, um, you might have had some some issues. Some, maybe you're tired of ish, current issues that you're fighting through, but there's definitely a balance coming. This is the Six of Pentacles, so give and take, equal sort of give and take. Um, a balance. This is a balance coming, all right? Seven of, seven of swords seek the truth okay so maybe you were putting a mask up maybe you're currently putting a mask on how you deal with things you're telling everyone oh it's fine yeah you know i'm good no you don't have to pay me that money back no no that's fine no it's absolutely fine no you, you don't have to um do that favor for me it's fine it's fine it's like you're putting yourself on the back foot and you're not expecting other people to chip in equally um that's changed again you're, you're choosing your battles, but you're not kind of allowing people to walk all over you. Um, the challenging times have been released because you're standing your ground a bit more. There's a bit more of a balance in how you're conducting yourself. And you're honest with how you feel. So if someone does challenge you now, you're, you're realistic and you're saying, no, I am not happy with that. But there could also be some self-deception and other things, okay? Um maybe there's still some things to work on because this seven of swords is still upright all right so just watch for what you view as your truth now um and sort of moving forward in the year sort of moving on you know question do you really feel that that way when you say oh you know i'm fine you'd have to pay me back or do you really feel like that because there's a risk here of this kind of getting to a point where even if you did feel like there was an issue you wouldn't might not be able to say something about it um yeah so just choose your, make sure you're choosing your battles but make sure you're also not saying staying silent staying totally quiet about how you feel about certain things um and then letting it kind of go around in your head afterwards because you haven't said anything try and get that balance it's like you're striking that balance there i think between really being unhappy about something that you feel isn't worth it and not speaking your truth try and get that balance pile three please yeah we've got heal and we've got the eight of pentacles so someone's definitely putting dedicated effort there's a lot of work going in <coughs> to yourself to work To a partnership there's definitely some kind of um focus on maintaining an effort maintaining an effort and we've also got the star it could well be that you've done some healing maybe there was um some lies that were told and you've got over that and you've worked through them and you're work making the effort either with a partnership or people around you maybe you've, you've you know you've worked through that and you've tried to understand it and now things are getting more balanced and again you've got all these amazing free cards at the beginning of the, the spread which means you've worked through it and you've got to that point but you've healed this is the star card this is about hope this is about i mean it could also be maybe you, you get into the public eye this time next year there's potential for that as well with the star card um there's this is also aquarius this card um maybe this time you're maybe this is your birthday um and this time next year maybe you're watching this because it's your birthday and you want to see where you are well looks like you've got a pretty good birthday next year and maybe even this year um 
yeah, there's definitely um, <clears throat> there's definitely something about possibly even the public eye though with this star card. Path three, please. Deck three. A year from now. A year from now. Yeah. So things have been released and or you've moved on from certain things. Don't forget we have the death card in reverse, sort of death card upright. So it's about cleansing, rebirth. We've also got the eight of cups moving on. Okay. So you may have put down something and, and returned to it. Um, or you could have just moved on and that was it. You're, you, you're not looking back. It, things are being resolved. All right. So if you've got any current issues, again, arguments with friends, family members, partners, this is, I feel, getting wrapped up. It's like you're not talking and discussing about the same things. This is like a level of awareness of change has shifted and you're, you're in a good place. You're in a good place. Three. Those who picked path three, please. Those who picked path three. Yeah. We've got the five of swords. So win or lose. So it did actually fall in the upright position. So if there's been confusion or arguments or petty disagreements or tit for tat, game play, head games, done, finished, that's resolved. We're not, it, that's not something you're having to deal with here. And five of cups, change your focus. So there's a little bit of disappointment here. Um, but I feel like you're healing because it, I've put this next to the, the star card and I didn't even realise I did that. Um, it's like that you might be, again, you, I feel like in the year you've healed that disappointment. So if you're watching this now feeling disappointed over something, that's done. You've resolved it. It's um, I'm hearing distant past, distant memory this time next year. You're not going to you're not going to need to worry about that. Call number three, please. Three of Pentacles, reach out. There's um, a solid partnership. If, if it's not with your partner, marriage, husband, then it's going to be a business partnership. It's about working together. It's about cooperation, um, support, practical support. Pile three, those who picked pile three, what's going to be happening, please? Wow. Six of Cups. Okay, so this is soulmate card. This is nostalgia. This is so simply love here. So this could, I mean, you again, more children. We've got more children cards here. Um, maybe there's a partnership around kids. Maybe there's adoption. Maybe there's you're working with disadvantaged children, and that's what you want to go into in a business, and it's happening. Um, maybe you're working with your husband or partner, and that's something that you're discussing at the moment, and that will be in full effect. But there's definitely some kind of partnership here. Um, Maybe you're getting support around kids or maybe you're working around kids. Yeah. If you felt like maybe you weren't getting that support around your family issues or, um, you know, how to help the children, maybe from an ex or even a current partner, that's getting looked at. That's going to be resolved. Maybe child maintenance is an issue and that's getting resolved. But I feel like if you haven't spoken up, or maybe you're watching this now and you, you've not spoken up about that, by that point in time, you've definitely had a conversation that's been looked at and resolved again. Crown chakra. So there's definitely some kind of alignment here. Um, awareness and uh, intuition upgrade. Maybe you've got a, a strong ability and so you're going to start channeling more from the crown chakra, so make more clear cognizant energy which is about clear knowing. Maybe you're getting contact from your guides and obviously you might sit there and go, I don't want to be in any contact with them, thank you. Then just say no. <laughs> like, um, But there's definitely some kind of... It's really weird. Why does this... Why does this card feel different? That's interesting. Yeah, there's um, 
maybe you maybe you're a bit worried about opening up your abilities maybe you're a bit concerned about opening up your abilities and i feel like I feel like you might meet other people that are possibly similar to you and or that might help you open up. Which is going to help. There's definitely an upgrade in your ability though, your, your psychic intuitive ability. Card three, this time next year, a year on. What can they expect to see please? Wow, and we've got the tower. So there's a, a reconstruction here. Tower doesn't have to be bad. It can also be positive. Um, it's about a restructure of something, a rebuilding. I mean, look, it even says rebuild. So again, you might be watching this thinking, well, absolutely. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of disarray. Like I've, I've got to have disruption around my relationships. This is, you've, that is completely resolved. It's like you're, or if it's not completely resolved, you're rebuilding that. Um, clarify the rebuild. Yeah, so this is the devil, okay? So maybe you, again, maybe you've been distracted. Maybe you've had negative energy around you. Maybe you've been in toxic situations, environments. Maybe you're, you've had, maybe someone's been dealing with addictions, alcohol dependency, drug dependency, self, you know, self-medicating that is being overcome there's someone rebuilding from that they're not you know the temptation isn't there um like for example maybe you're you were a smoker and this time next year you quit or maybe you've got some attachment issues and this time next year it's resolved so there's something that you're resolving here that is or was an issue that is you're working on you've rebuilt it all right, so it might not be totally done, but you're definitely working on it. So maybe it's a fitness. Maybe you've got started really focusing on your fitness levels. Okay, uh, let's do some outcome cards. Let's do some outcomes. Okay, so spirit, for those who pick card number three, please. A year from now, where will you be? What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome, please, for part three? A year from now, a year from now, where will part three be, please? What is the outcome? A year from now. What is the outcome? For those who picked part three or deck three, what is the outcome? Is that it? <laughs> uh, do the cards just kind of... Oh, no. Okay, so... We've got round and round. Okay, so maybe you're in a nice little routine. You've got yourself in a nice little routine and that's suiting you. We've got round and round and round. So either you're in a, a good cycle, good a good routine, or... You're in a position where maybe something isn't so great and it's going in circles and it's not being looked at. Maybe you, that's the focus that you need to be looking at in this time next year. Um, it could be a cycle that needs to be closed out or a positive cycle that is good. But we've also got all the glitters. So this suggests something around you may not be as great influentially. Um, the you are possibly not closing out or removing from your your life that is not so much of a great influence so you've got all these amazing cards but there might be some other influences there that need to be closed out pile three please outcome those who picked pile three a year from now ah what a lovely card look soulmate this is a very strong energy here. Look, how beautiful. Soulmates, yeah, lovely, beautiful love connection here. Yeah, by the book. So I feel like you've worked hard. You've probably worked very hard and that you, you know, again, you've got your little tribe there. So again, if you're not wanting a family, obviously don't sort of take that. But by the book, it's like you followed what you wanted. You followed your heart and you got there. Last card. <coughs> There may also be partners or something around you again that isn't going to be brought into this this year, this year cycle, because we've got the not for you card. So it might be that partners might change. 
or maybe you are looking at this video for guidance about someone and they're saying no it's not for you that's going to be gone okay guys so hopefully that's been of some help this was your pick a card for a year from now a year from now what will be happening thank you for listening thank you for watching all your likes shares subscriptions it means a lot to me thank you thank you um yeah uh tomorrow's video will be will there be one tomorrow yes there will not too sure yet be another pick a card um be another pick a card video and if you do want to suggest a pick a card by all means i'm always open to suggestions always always not a problem uh, have a wonderful evening and a blessed year take good care bye